Hi, I'm Teresa Collins. Today, I'm gonna to share a little secret with you. I'm gonna tell you and show you how to make your own necklaces. I like to call these like boutique style necklaces. You know when you go in to shop and you see those beautiful necklaces with the ribbons and the flowers and all the bling and you wonder, how did they make those? Or maybe they're pretty expensive. And so I'm gonna show you how to make your own and save you a lot of money and use your crafting supplies. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna to wanna to go to your craft store and you're gonna want some felt. Now, when I buy my felt, I actually like the lighter colors. I like cream, grays, whites, just more of a neutral palette. Now, if you're working on a darker necklace and you wanted black, that would be fine as well. Another thing that you're gonna want, you're gonna need for each necklace you make, you're gonna want one yard of ribbon. And what I did with that is I actually just cut it directly in half and that's enough to tie your necklace on the back around your neck. The next thing that you're gonna need is, if, you're, if you like flowers like I do, I actually bought these flowers yesterday. I went to a craft supply place and they were actually, they came with three flowers on one stem for $2.20. And I loved them. I thought, wow, I don't even have to make these. So it's faster and it's actually affordable. So $2.20. So find some of your favorite flowers in whatever colors that you like. The other thing that I use for mine is I use my, my gems and blingage with the Teresa Collins line. And what I love about these is I have some really be beautiful ornate pieces, but I also have their shiny and you'll be able to really um, sparkle and shine with on your project. The next thing that you'll need is you'll need a, a Sharpie pen, a pair of scissors, and your hot glue gun, and then you're set to go. So I'm going to show you how simple it is to make your flower. So what I do is I actually take three pieces of my flower and what I've done here is this is just a regular piece of felt and I put the larger ribbon, the larger flower right directly to the center and then I like to put the other two smaller smaller um, flowers directly off and I actually kind of stagger a little bit and this is where you're going to want your sharpie pen because you're going to take your sharpie pen and you're going to go around a little bit on the inside the shape of your flowers. Now, once I've done that and I went around all of the sides with my flowers, I just take my flowers to the side and then I take my scissors and you can kind of see this is the template of it. Now your template's gonna be different based upon the size of your flowers and the shape. And then you'll take your scissors and you're just gonna cut those all around. Now when I cut this, what I try to do is I try not to get any of the black showing just in case. Now, one of the things when you're making your, your, um, your um, blingage, keep in mind that you know some of the felt will show and that's completely okay. So I just go around and you'll notice that I'm not really taking a lot of care. I'm not going, oh, it's not perfect because no one's gonna be able to see this. This is just the base. And so trust me, no one's gonna see it. And there you have the extra and it should look something Sim similar to this. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your hot glue gun. Now, if you like to sew, you could completely sew these on, that's completely fine. But I, you know, I have a lot of kids. I always say I need to be fast. So I do use my hot glue gun. So I put the hot glue gun directly to my felt, and then I put my flower directly on top of the centerpiece. And then, what you wanna do is you're gonna take your ribbon. You wanna make sure that when you put your ribbon down, you could sew it on. Um, I like to put it, instead of going on this side, you kinda of wanna go more kind of a, an upward angle so that you can attach it to your neck. So I put a little bit here next and I just put that down. Again, it's about a half, an, half a yard in any color that you want. I actually did gray on this one, but you could really, whatever you want to use. That's what I love about crafting. You can do whatever ever you like to do. So I'm gonna put that down as well. I hold it down, make sure that it's, it's securely down. And you know, I've never had any problems with my necklaces coming apart or coming off. Um, you could stitch it if you're afraid of that, but so far with, with mine, I've been a-okay with that. So again, this is my second, and you'll notice I just kind of put it up a little bit more. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the last flower. Now I have a confession. I'm addicted to these. I think these are beautiful. And then, mine is still pretty hot, but look how cute this is. And you could put it right up 
on your clothes and you could wear it as a necklace. Another thing you could do is you could make this into a cute belt or maybe even like a bracelet. And so that is how simple it is to make your flower necklace that you can see in our frame here. Now, the same principle is gonna apply for your blingage necklace. So again, what you're gonna do, I'll set this off to the side, you're gonna take a piece of felt and you'll notice your felt's gonna go a long way. I can use the same color and what I do when I do my blingage is I just basically put my blings down in whatever pattern I like. So sometimes, you know, it depends. Maybe you have a beautiful brooch or something in the center that you'd like. It's really up to you. And I just play around with it and I can make it as big or large. But more so, if you notice on my necklaces with the blingage, you're gonna wanna just make sure they kinda go up like a slight V, if that makes sense. So that way it doesn't, you know, you could have it going across, but if you're going more up in a V, when you wear it around your neck, it's gonna actually lay a little bit nicer and probably be more comfortable to wear, to be honest with you. And so what I've done here, you can see I just kinda go and play with it. And there's really no rules, okay? So there's no pattern for it because it really depends on the gems, the brooches, the pearls, whatever you're using to create your necklaces. And I could throw in some different sizes here. And just to show you, so you could do something like this. And, but basically what I do is if I've done it on one side, I try to repeat the same thing on the opposite side so that it's equal and it, kinda, and it just kind of makes sense. So you'll notice here, I'm doing that and laying it out. And then the same thing that we did on the previous one, look how cute that is. So I've just created another little necklace here. So then again, I will take my Sharpie and I will go around the gems. So I'll go around here and, I, and this is the tricky part. Just hold the gems down as you do it because they will slide. And so go ahead and go around all of those. And again, just like the last thing, once you're all done, you will cut those out. Now, another thing I did wanna point out is if you look in here, you're gonna see spots in here where you can actually see the felt and that's okay. If you looked closely at my necklace right now, you would be able to see little some of the felt that's why I said choose a color that you feel like complements it but I've never had anyone come up to me and say oh there's you know it's okay that's exactly how you want it to do so I would cut this out and then I would do the exact same thing that I did before after I cut this out I like to put my hot glue gun um, or my glue right directly in the center of it and then I would put that down after it's cut you would put your rim in and then you have your own blingage boutique necklace just like you see in all the stores. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this. I hope you'll be creative and think you can do this too. Literally in five minutes you can create your own stunning one-of-a-kind masterpiece that you can wear and show off. Thanks.